Although Prince George is the oldest of the Prince and Princess of Wales's three children and may be the heir to the throne, he and his younger siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, appear to be being raised as equals in an effort to end the, heir and the spare, dynamic that afflicted William and younger brother Prince Harry. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. It appears to be the Ridges triplet are being raised to lead the government in the future as a, aggregate, the day-to-day -day express reports. According to royal biographer Katie Nichol, George is under, more pressure, than Charlotte and Louis because he is the heir, she asserts that this is, something William and Kate are acutely aware of. According to a recent report in Marie Claire, the two appear to be at odds regarding George's role in the upcoming coronation of his grandfather King Charles. The Sunday Times Imperial Supervisor Roy and Nikha told Genuine Eminence Televisions, The Regal Beat, that William and Kate believe that George's job in the crowning ceremony should be, very serene, as the couple are, extremely cognizant that he will get back to school on the Tuesday after the coronation, and they don't believe he should be overpowered by the consideration. However, he might have a smaller official role. Charlotte and Louis will also have roles in the coronation, though they are unlikely to be nearly as significant or significant as George's. Together with their parents, the three Wales children will travel in the carriage procession from Westminster Abbey to Buckingham Palace, directly behind the gold state coach with King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla. Once at the royal residence, the Ridges group of five will all take to the overhang, much as they accomplished for the platinum celebration last June, where each of the three children were in the carriage parade for marching the variety and afterwards showed up on the gallery a while later. According to the Mirror, Lewis's inclusion in the coronation is particularly significant. According to royal expert Angela Mollard, this is an effort to prevent any divisions between the siblings and to give Lewis the impression of being included rather than excluded. Mollard states, George needs to be braced and supported by his siblings. The Wales's entire brand is very much about, we're a family, we do everything together. In the future, we do not want an offspring like Harry. She goes on to say, it's going to ensure that Lewis has a memory of the coronation, so that when his big brother takes on that role, he and Charlotte are there to support him. The truth is that, George's royal destiny is set in stone, Despite the fact that William and Kate appear eager to maintain as equal a relationship as possible with George, Charlotte, and Louis. Louis's, like Charlotte's, is more adaptable. Before Charlotte became the direct, spare, behind George, Louis would have leapfrogged his older sister to place right behind George in the line of succession, similar to how Prince Andrew, the third child of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth, placed right behind Charles in the line of succession. Many people believe that Charlotte is on track to become a successful working royal, despite the fact that she could create a life outside of the royal family. According to the Daily Express, royal author Tom Quinn, liked Charlotte's seemingly grounded and self-assured personality to that of her great-aunt Princess Anne, saying the seven-year-old may play a role similar to the one Anne is playing for the crown and the king, as well as possibly assuming her, Princess Royal, title. Quinn asserts, Princess Anne has never really struggled. She is well known for her strong support of Charles. Furthermore, she is somewhat of a harder person than Charles, since first thinks she has consistently realized she wouldn't turn into the ruler, though Charles growing up, was feeling the squeeze. Additionally, I believe something similar will occur among the younger generation. Adding that Charlotte appeared, more sure of herself, more centered, more grounded, than George Quinn concludes that Charlotte will be a, really good, support for her elder brother. As a working royal, Anne consistently undertakes the most engaging.